Hey, thanks for stopping by. My name is Tyler, and today I wanted to talk about what I did to study for the CompTIA N10008 Network Plus exam. So, a little bit of backstory. Um, before this exam, I had no knowledge of IT at all. I was brand new. I didn't know what a switch was. Didn't know what an access point was. Nothing. So, this was quite a uh, quite a journey. So, when I first started, I I literally started just by listening to some of Professor Messer's content, um, a few of his after shows, a few of his study groups, and his his video course. Um, but I had it in audio format. I paid a few dollars, so I could listen to it while I work. And I probably just I just listened to content um, while I worked for probably about two weeks without doing anything else. Um, granted, it was, I was working seven days a week in my detailing business and it car would take me around seven hours to complete. So 49 hours of listening to somebody talk about the contents of this exam um, certainly did help, but I didn't want to start anything too serious just because I was so new. I was like, let's just get familiar with the vocab first. And so after I felt a little bit better, I kind of knew a few of the terms. I went ahead and got myself a good book. Um, the book I chose is the Exam Cram um, Network Plus book. It's awesome. I want to say it's around $20 or something on Amazon. It covers everything in the exam topics, but doesn't it doesn't include really anything extra, which is super helpful because you... It kind of tells you exactly what you need to know to pass the exam, which I really like. Um, it's a pretty concise book, like as far as certification books go, it's really not too bad. Um, and then this book probably took me about a month and a half or two months to complete. Um, the whole exam took me three months to study for, by the way. But yeah, about two months to actually get through reading this book. I'm just, I'm a slow reader, um, and I just didn't, I couldn't bring myself to sit down and read a book for three hours a day. Um, so yeah, I got through this book though, uh, we made it, and at that same time I was actually still listening to the audio course from Professor Messer as well while I worked. Um, I'd also started listening to some of the after shows as just like fun content um, about the IT industry and all of the fun things he talks about in the after shows. But yeah, so once I finished this book, I was still listening to Messer's course. And then I moved on and this was probably one of the most important things I did to study. Um, what I did was I opened, I was just in a Google Doc. I wrote down every single exam objective. There's like 550 of them guys. It took me forever. Um, and I defined each each exam objective, every single one, like all 550 of them, even if I knew it. Um, and I just defined the terms in one or two sentences, nothing technical, um, very surface level information, because that's all this exam asks for really. Um, I did that for every single objective and was it overkill? It might have been, but I, I wanted to be very thorough with my studying. It would have broken my heart if I went ahead and tried to take the exam and I got like a 320 or something. But yeah, so that process of defining every, exa every exam objective probably took me about two weeks. Um, and then once I got through typing out all of those, I was kind of on the last, last stretch of my studying. And that included listening to a lot of Professor Messer's um, study groups. And his study groups are, he basically, he makes awesome practice questions. And he would, I guess, spend like an hour going through these practice questions. And it was like a talk show. It was, it was they're just very fun to listen to. They're light. It's maybe only six or seven questions per hour, um, but he goes through all the wrong answers as well as the right answer and explains all of those terms. And 
Yeah, I listened to a ton of those. It was I maybe 30 or 40 um, of those after shows. And then I was really starting to feel good at this point. I was like, man, I'm like, I can look at all of these terms and I can pretty much understand them. And I knew it was time for practice tests. So I actually made a mistake on my first purchase of practice tests. It was, I won't say names on who, who's ones I bought first, but it was, I probably paid like 60 or $70. And it said it was multiple practice tests and it wasn't multiple. It was like, it was probably a question pool of like maybe 250 questions. Um, but the thing is, is there was actually, there were off topic questions and outdated questions and questions that actually just had a wrong answer. Um, very deliberately just wrong answer and so I was that put a bad taste in my mouth but I did find some really awesome practice tests they are by Jason Dion they're on Udemy for like $15 um, a lot of the time you can get them even cheaper than that because Udemy always has specials going on um, but that was six practice questions or practice questions um Six practice exams, like full length 90 question with performance based questions too. Um, exams for like $15 is the most you're gonna pay for it. And these practice exams were maybe a little harder than the actual exam, but every single question was on topic. And none of the questions were outside of the scope of the exam objectives, which was awesome. Like these practice tests, I can't recommend highly enough. Um, so going through those, I started off and the first one I took, um, it's a little discouraging. I think I got like a 67 or 68. It wasn't a very good score, but yeah, I'd go through all my wrong questions, see why they were wrong, see where I needed to improve. And I think by the end of the sixth practice question, I was getting about 85, 86% on these, these practice questions or practice tests rather. Um, so I was starting to feel pretty confident and I was like, all right, let's go ahead and get the voucher. And I got the voucher, got my test scheduled about two weeks out. And uh, those last two weeks, I actually, I was pretty light on the studying. Like I would do, I would kind of go through, like it was every other day I would go back through a practice exam um, and just review it. But yeah, that was, um, I used a lot of materials to study. I will say I also passed the Network Plus on my first attempt after that, which I was very pleased with. Um, I don't think I've been so nervous for a test uh, ever. But yeah, I just wanted to go through what I use to study. Um, I know there's people that can do this exam in like two weeks, and that's like hats off to them. That's very, very impressive, but I am not that person. It takes me a little bit longer to learn things and really um, have them ingrained in my head. And yeah, it was, it was like even learning how to learn during this process was huge for me. Um, I have a whole video idea that revolves around that because that was one thing that I kind of struggled with um, studying for this first exam. And I know I'm not the only one, so I'd love to make a video um, to hopefully help you guys out. But yeah, I just wanted to go through all the um, all the various, I guess, resources I use to study for this test. I know it's not the fastest way, but it was super fun. Um, and I think it's just like a very, I don't want to say like a rock solid study method, um, but really going through so many different types of um study material is a very good way this is a very good way to study certainly uh increase your odds of passing but all of the study materials i used i'll leave a link to this book um on amazon i'll leave mr dion's practice tests in the description as well because those were i really enjoyed those i'll also leave a link to professor messer's youtube channel all of his courses are on there um yeah, that's all I had for you guys on that topic. Um, one last thing before I go, I wanted to mention that I am working on getting CCNA lab videos, like kind of walkthroughs, just, I guess, step through it with me. Um, 
just for fun, just kind of going through a lab. I'm learning with you guys. Um, I have one of those videos recorded. Um, I just, I need to edit it um, like, cause I have a face cam as well for these videos because I just, I like how personal it feels, but yeah, I have to edit the, the two types of media together and I'm just struggling to get that information on my computer and I need to find a program to, I guess, do like the picture in picture, um, type of setup there, but it, I am working on them. I have a video recorded, like I said. I'm hoping to get that posted next weekend, but life is pretty crazy right now. I have um, got a lot going on, but you guys will probably hear about that next weekend too. But yeah, that's all I had for you guys today. Um, once again, thank you for stopping by. Uh, have a great week.